very often I get the question, how do I know if I'm financially free and if I'm wealthy? Well, there's a very simple way that you can find out if you're financially free and you can find out how wealthy you are. It has nothing or it has less to do with how much money you make or how much money you have in a bank account. For so long, we've misunderstood the definition of the word wealth. Most people think of wealth and they have a picture, an image of the beautiful cars and the luxury homes and the private jets and a bank account with a number of zeros and perhaps a number of commas. And nothing can be further from the truth. You see, when we, people think about wealth, they believe wealth is measured in money. Now that is not incorrect in itself. It's simply incomplete. Wealth is money measured as a function of time. You see, life is measured in time. Health, therefore, is measured in time because health is a derivative of life. Money or wealth similarly is a derivative of life therefore it's also measured in time and it must be money as a function of time now what does this mean money as a function of time very simply imagine you had a thousand pounds if this one thousand pounds could only last you ten months Maybe because you spend £100 per month. Now what we say is that you are wealth. You have a wealth that will last you 10 months. So you are 10 months wealthy. Meaning that your net worth or your income, or whatever that might be, can only maintain the lifestyle you've chosen for a specific duration. That is how wealth is measured as a function of time. So for so many people, when we think about wealth, we're thinking about net worth. Now here is, herein lies the problem. Net worth that cannot be converted to cash flow, that cannot be converted to cash flow, that cannot be converted to income, is worth less. There's no need for that. I'll give you a good example. Let's assume that you live in London and you have real estate. But your real estate in this case is land. And this land does not pay you an income. It does not pay you an income. So it's just pure land. Let's assume that you have probably about 10 pieces in various parts of London and the total net worth of each piece of land when combined you have a net worth of about 10 million pounds now what we say is that your net worth assuming that you have no nothing owed and assuming this is all you have we say that your net worth is 10 million that's quite easy to understand unfortunately what you have is a an asset. This asset could appreciate in value over time, which is important because every investment should always be assessed based on the longevity and the time it would take to continue to increase the value of the asset. So every asset should be appreciated in value. When you're buying an investment, ask yourself a simple question. Will this asset appreciate in value? And how quickly can I continue to multiply and increase the value? But this land produces no income. Now let's assume that you have a lifestyle whereby you need about £15,000 per month. Now this £15,000 per month need means that you have expenses and you have perhaps have personal debts meaning 
that you need an income. But this your investment assets do not does not produce an income. And interestingly, you don't want to sell it. So what you have is what we call a frozen asset. It doesn't meet your needs, meaning it's worthless. It does no it serves no purpose in the present. It doesn't help you deal with your financial situation. Until you sell a piece of your land, your stock. So most people, and many people, are what we call net worth wealthy, but they're not income worth wealthy. And so most people are still financially dependent, meaning they have to work for money. Now, you've arrived at a place of being financially free when you do not have to work for money. You don't have to work for money. Now, to get to that point, you've got to have investments. And let's assume in this instance you still are in London, but this time around you have perhaps 10 properties, and the combined net income, meaning after you've paid up all of your expenses, the net income you have from all of these properties is perhaps £10,000 per month in your pocket, paid everything including taxes. Let's assume that you have expenses, this is net income. Let's assume you have expenses of 8,000 pounds, expenses, and this includes liabilities. Now what this means is that you have a 2,000 pound surplus every month, a spare, meaning that the properties you have, as they appreciate in value, they also create an income. Now that is a beautiful asset to have. That income is such that it allows you to maintain your chosen lifestyle without compromising and still leaves you with a surplus. Now this, we say you're wealthy, meaning providing this income continues and providing your expenses never exceeds your income, then we say you have what we call infinite you must forgive me for not spelling properly. You, you have what we call infinite Well, meaning it does not stop. It's continuous. Now that is wealth and that is freedom. However, there's a simple way to know whether you are really financially free and wealthy because you can have more income than your expenses but you could not really be really, really secure. The way to find this out is to ask yourself, what is my wealth ratio? The wealth ratio is more important than this calculation we've done now. The wealth ratio is achieved by taking your income from your investments only. It has to be investments only. And dividing it by your expenses. So in this instance, what we have is 10,000 divided by 8,000 and that gives us 1.25. This 1.25 is a ratio and what this means is that you have 25% extra expenses available as contingency. And herein lies the genius and the beauty. Your responsibility now is not really to just go and earn more because I found that the more you earn the more you spend your responsibility now is to be strategic in how you multiply your wealth and create more but more importantly the source and the key here is the source and this is where we talk about multiple sources of income where your income comes from various sources and requires almost little consistent effort on your part and time but it creates income regularly because the key is to continue to increase this ratio so for example most people are familiar with what a high salary is so some people say okay he makes a million pounds every year now, if you came up to me and said, I make a million pounds every year as income, 
I'm going to say, let's assume this is from investment. If you said that to me, I wouldn't be excited. I wouldn't be impressed. My question to, to you will be, how much of what you make do you keep? In other words, what is your expenses? Now, if your expenses is 994500 then it means that every single year, at the end of the year, what you have is 6500 Now, 6500 across 12 months, <laughs> you can tell that this means you only have something in the region of about £530 as surplus. Meaning your wealth ratio in this instance is something like 0 0.019. Meaning that you have less than 1% spare capacity to cover any unforeseen circumstances. You are still wealthy because you have more income that covers your, than your expenses, but you're redlining. And so the focus here is stop finding ways to increase this ratio. So can you see now it's not about what you earn, it's about what you do after you're paid. It's about what you do with what you earn. And more importantly, the key here is lifestyle, your habits. Because there are two ways of making this ratio much higher. The first way is what we call offense. Where you play offensive, meaning earn more. Create more multiple sources of income. The second is defense which is be smart manage what you have now with the first you're dealing with creating new with the second you're dealing with managing what you already have which is about looking at your habits and seeing whether your habits can be changed to increase this ratio to give you more comfort so that you can then go out and create more income now that is how easy it is to understand what wealth is Wealth is not just about income alone. It's about the quality of the income, the ratio of your income to your expenses, making sure that that income exceeds and gives you enough provision in terms of surplus to cover your expenses. Now, when you start getting into the multiples of 10 as your ratio, 15, 20, now you're getting into the card and the league of extraordinary gentlemen and gentlewomen. And this is whereby we say, you're really wealthy or you're rich, meaning that it doesn't matter what happens, that you have enough coming in, in income to cover any expense you have. But in addition to that, every day your net worth continues to rise. I hope that's been useful.